Well, it's the eve of 2020 season and uh, one of our overseas signings, Sean Tate, joins us. Sean, welcome to Essex. Uh, let's hope it's a successful uh, tenure yeah. uh, over here. You're here for the whole tournament, aren't you? And uh, fingers crossed you'll be representing us in the final if we get there. That's the plan, mate. Yeah, I um, uh, yeah, got in last night into Essex and um, looking forward to the campaign. A few few sessions before the, the first game starts on the 28th, I believe. And then... Um, Sort of rock and roll, yeah. Yeah, indeed. And uh, the good thing is, I mean, you're acclimatised to English conditions, aren't yeah. you? You've had previous experience with Durham and Glamorgan, yeah. uh, so it's not new to you. And I guess it fits very nicely into your calendar, doesn't it, yeah. the various 2020 tournaments yeah. around the world? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, like you said, I'm, I've played here at the ground before as well at Essex um, a couple of times, so I'm familiar with the conditions here. Um, and like you said, it fits in the calendar pretty well, the 2020s. I'm glad that Essex give me, have given me an opportunity this year, so... Um, should be a bit of fun, yeah. Yeah, and they made that decision uh, quite early on, didn't they? I mean, yeah. uh, obviously, uh, you know, they, they did their homework and you were happy to sign for it, but I guess yeah. that was that was good for you. You, you had it penciled in in your diary, that's where you were going to be for, for a month or so, and, uh, you know, it's, you're very active in T20 cricket now around the world, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I've played a fair bit of T20 cricket. Um, I've had some injuries over the last few years that have sort of cost me, you know, longer formats, so... 2020 has come at a good time for me, and then, um, and obviously Essex, yeah, reacting early and and signing me early on was good. That I, you know, I could get my head around coming over here and playing and, and planning for this. So, um, and a good bunch of lads to go with it, you know. So. Yeah, so a few familiar faces yeah, around yeah. there, I guess, through RPL connections. Yeah. And Previous city, county cricket yeah. experience, people like O.A. Shah, Ryan Tendiscata, mm. uh, maybe Graham Napier you saw in IPL yeah. earlier on, Ravi yeah. Papara. So, uh, you know, there's uh, plenty of banter in that direction. Oh, the good, yeah, absolutely. The good thing about 2020 these days is you get to play with, you know, guys from all over the world and, and become friends with them. And like you said, I've played with Oasis for a couple of years at Rajasthan and, and, and Tendo and Ravi Bopara I've played with as well. So... Um, yeah, looking forward to reuniting with those guys. Yeah. Yes, yeah, indeed. You mentioned earlier about your, your injuries. I mean, presumably, if it wasn't for IPL, you probably wouldn't mm. be playing top flight yeah. cricket. Is that true, Sean? Which is a uh, sad, sad reflection on the yeah. wear and tear your body's taken, uh, had to take, isn't it? Definitely extended my career for sure. I mean, uh, hopefully another two years yet or something, you know, two or three years, and I can keep going on. I've had some I've had some problems with my body, and I think it's it's probably an easy decision that the 2020 is actually there. I mean, I, I don't know what I would have done if it wasn't. Um, it's actually given me time to have a rest and, and now even going forward, I can think of maybe about playing some one day cricket again. Good. Um, so it has given me a couple of years to, to play less cricket and, um, you know, and still play top flight yeah, competition. Indeed. Yeah. Good.